Welcome back to The Rustic Wife, I'm Alana. Today I'm going to be taking some cuttings from my delphinium plants and they're just starting to come up. Some of them are bigger than others at this point. It's May 5th today and I want to take some cuttings so I can start rooting them and fill in some spots in my garden. Now I did plant some seeds. They didn't germinate, not one, but that could be because the seeds were 10 years old. So. That's a little bit of a lesson right there. <laughs> if you want some germination, possibly get newer seeds than the 10 year old ones that I tried to germinate. So I will turn you around and show you how I take the cuttings. So you can see some of the perennials are just starting to come up in this bed here. And there are some delphinium there that I planted last year. And there's some really nice pink ones. And I've got some dark purple ones in the other bed too. So I'm gonna take some cuttings from, from here. So when you take a cutting from your delphinium, you wanna take it at the base of the soil. So as it's called a basal cutting. You also want to do it, you don't wanna do it in the heat of the day. You wanna keep as much moisture in that cutting as you can. As soon as you cut it, it starts to lose <clears throat> some water. So you can, as soon as you take your cuttings, you can put them in a bag or I brought a pail with a little bit of water and I'm gonna pot them right away but still, I don't want it to lose a lot of moisture. Now in this larger plant here, you'll see the stalks are quite thick and they will be hollow. So they're not gonna produce a root. You wanna actually get below the soil surface, but with something a bit younger, those ones are all pretty big. So here's one here. The stalks don't look that big on them. You'll see a new stem coming up here with some new leaf growth and the stem isn't that thick. So what you want to do is you want to dig below the soil and cut it. So these are basal cuttings so it's at the base. If you go up any further it could get hollow there. So you want to dig below the soil and cut right there. So I go right down give that a good cut. Here's another small one and I'll just get below the soil surface there and I'm going to cut this one off. There. Put that in water and we'll take them in and pot them up. I'm going to put the cuttings in the water. You can put them in a plastic bag, but I'm just going to put them in water. I'm going to pot them right away. So I've collected my delphinium cuttings and I'm just in the garage here and I'm just going to pot them up. I've got just these plastic cups. I've poked holes in the bottom for drainage and I just use seed starting mix. It's, it's really, it's got a lot of drainage, so that's what you want. You don't want anything so that's gonna hold the moisture really well. You don't want your roots to rot, and this should be good until the roots form, and I can plant the delphiniums back out into the garden later when they're big enough. All right, I have my cups of soil, like I mentioned. I've got a sharp knife. I need to cut some of the leaves off and I've got some rooting hormone. This is just some of our raw honey. Honey is an excellent rooting hormone. It's naturally antifungal and antibacterial, so that's good. And then I've got my cuttings in the water. If you hear panting, that's just Chief. <laughs> he wants out. <laughs> There's Otis annoying Chief again. So I have a cutting here from my delphinium. And what you want to do is you want to take off some of these extra leaves. When you do a cutting, it actually will lose moisture very quickly. So you want to take off some of the extra leaves off of there, but you want to leave some on because those leaves will feed the new roots when they, when they um, start to emerge. So I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to cut away some of those leaves. They'll just wilt down. And I'll show you some of the ones that I did yesterday. You can see where some of them have wilted. So I'm actually gonna cut that one off too. You don't wanna cut the bottom because 
that's where the roots are gonna go and you don't wanna risk it being hollow up here where the roots generally don't form. So I'm just gonna stick my finger, make a hole in the soil. And then dip this in my honey rooting hormone, which is just raw honey. And I'm just gonna put it in there. And you can hear Chief. <laughs> Chief drinking in the background. Oh, that's Otis drinking in the background. Okay. And then I'm just gonna mist it with my high-tech irrigation system. Okay, I think Otis is done drinking now, but you can just see I've just used a juice bottle and some packing tape. I'm just gonna mist this soil here. You don't want it too wet because that could rot the roots when they form and you don't want it obviously too dry. So I'm just gonna put a plastic bag over top of that, almost like a little greenhouse. And then I'm going to do the other ones. So I'm gonna take these in side and I'm gonna put them in some, in an area where there's some light, but not in direct sunlight. I'm also gonna put a tray under here and just for the water that wicks through. And um, I'm gonna make sure that the soil is moist but not too wet. And in a couple of weeks, we should have some root formation. Now, you can also check in a couple of weeks to see if there's new growth there too. That'll also indicate that your roots have taken. So this is where I've put my delphinium cuttings. I have them in an east-facing window. They get direct sunlight for just a little bit in the morning and then after that, they don't, it's, it's bright in here, but not too direct. So these four I did today, and then the six I did yesterday. I've taken a bag off of this one just to show that that leaf there's flopping over just a little bit. I could have maybe taken that leaf off, but we'll leave it and see how it goes. So I'll keep you updated on the progress of my new cuttings. Taking cuttings from existing perennials or even one that you buy from the greenhouse, you can buy one and take multiple cuttings from it. But either way, it's a great way to expand your garden on a budget. And these are basically free plants that I'll be getting. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you again next time. What? Get down, Otis. Otis, get. Good boy, Chief. Oh, nope. Don't drink my water. Help yourself. They didn't germinate, and that, of course, he's got a poop right in my shot. He's only got acres to do that, but. <laughs>